Hello, I have Adobe program. I make art, yes. Wacom tablets are best, yes. Welcome back to another video here at Mummified Games. Today we're going to be talking about the game Art School by Glandrico. In this game you play, no, actually, shut up. Listen to this song. It's a banger. <laughs> Yes, I'm so amped to play this game. What, was that not dope? I dig it. Okay, but for real, you are at art school and you need to draw a bunch of pieces of art for your professor corpse. They're an advanced neural network trained on over 100,000 teraflops of the great art of the world. They will be your faculty advisor for this semester. Their job is to analyze your work against the vast database and give you constructive feedback. They were made by scientists, so they claim to be really good at this job. They also claim that art school is simple. And that's honestly 100% true from my experience. So you play as this bowl cut student who waddles around the campus finding colors to paint with and different brushes to make your art. There are a few platforms that you can walk around on and a lot of abstract creative things scattered all over this game to draw inspiration from. The game gives you an art prompt and you set out to go draw what that prompt inspires you to draw. So it's a platformer walk around game with a drawing window attached because all the drawing in this game is with the mouse, you have to actually turn to look left and right with A and D on the keyboard. It's not a typical first or third person controls or one that might find in a different game. A cool thing in this game is that it lets you do a infinite number of jumps like Kirby and Smash to allow you to get to the other platforms. Once you find a good spot to post up, you can set to work on drawing your art. Depending on what tools and colors you have found, you might have just a pencil or a navy blue color swatch. Eventually, you can get up to two shades of blue and pink, white and yellow. Your tools also include, but not limited to, pencils, erasers, fat dots, tiny dots, draw shapes, text, square brush, and like I said, other brushes as well. I did a good amount of hunting for these things, but it was really hard not being able to look around as easily as I'm accustomed to in other games. I spent about 20 to 30 minutes walking around hunting down these things before I sat down to draw anything. To the right side of the screen, there is a workspace for you to draw your art. There's only one layer, so you don't have the full multi-layer experience that some other art programs offer. So you should take your time picking what to draw and where to place your brush. There's a back button to undo what you just did, so that's nice as well. I'm not the greatest artist. Most art that I make is in the form of vector images and video editing. So when it comes to drawing with a mouse, I'm not very good. There are people out there that are amazing at it, and it's pretty crazy what some people can pull off. I made a couple of images in the small workspace that they give you, and it wasn't until almost the end of the time I spent with this game that I noticed that you can actually resize the drawing window when you want to focus on that, along with moving it from one side to the other. Wish I knew that at the beginning of my exploring. Maybe I should have experimented with the interface a little bit more at the start, just pushing all the buttons. I mean, that, 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 that's probably all on me. It's probably my fault. It's kind of funny because all the brushes you have make different noises when you move them across the canvas. Speaking of sounds, the, the game suffers from the same things that Star Swim had, where the walking doesn't stop. When you're walking around, it sounds like a rough shuffling noise, like thick corduroy pants rubbing against each other. And it keeps happening when you're flying in the air. A little bothersome. But other than that, everything else with the sound in this game is amazing. Music is super not obstructive and soothes the experience. There was only one time when I went to examine my art and when I came back to the world, there was a harsh noise and I just needed to get off the island and move someplace else. Okay, see, now I'm upset. The store page shows a top-down camera option that I never knew was there. Hmm, I really do need to fiddle with those buttons at the start of the game. After every presentation to the Professor Quartz, the image is saved to your computer and you can check it out when you're done. Post it to your socials or a portfolio page and also hopefully explaining what the heck it is that you just drew. The game doesn't do anything wrong. There's nothing bad about this game, it's a simple concept. The game is an experience piece for me. My recommendation for this is that if you have the time to go experience it, then sure, check it out. It's $6.99 on ish. I feel like if you enjoy experimental weird art games like this and you can spare the coin, then sure. 
If you already have the bundle, then sure, go give this a whirl and maybe you'll have fun with it. What do you think? If you play this game, what do you think of it? Let me know some of the pictures you made. I'd love to see some of them. If you haven't played this game, are there any other art games or drawing games that you think I should check out? Let me know in the comments. In the meantime, Wacom's are how much? Oh Lord, ugh. I'm gonna stick with traditional work and then clean up digitally. Look, actually, th here's a picture I drew from my D&D campaign. It's a weird empty city that my heroes are gonna find. I drew this on the back of a nine x five envelope and I I'll probably send it off to one of my friends with a nice little letter inside. So it's always nice to get old school uh, uh, mail from friends. You know, you all do the YouTube dance. Like, sub, bell, comment, share, and let your friends know about the show. And as always friends, keep digging, We'll make it out sometime. See you in the next one.